For the state meet? Yeah. Let, let me get this straight. So you, you went into the warm-ups at a state meet at a meet that you thought you had a good chance of winning uh, by a good amount. And and what happened on the prelims again? No, I, I thought I had them already on Friday night, and we just didn't do the job. Like I said, our medley was six out of six. We was at Ball State. Yeah. And uh, then we came back in the finals and won the medley, and everybody else just kept improving like crazy to the main. At, at the finals, you mean, right? Oh, wow. So, okay, so then Saturday, you warmed them up with 3,000, which is about 1,000 more, a little give or take, than you usually do. Right. And from the get-go, they were good, huh? It worked out great. <laughs> uh, that, that's funny. That's, that's, for some reason, uh, they were looser maybe because of the warm-up. You know what, when it comes down to it, I think they were used to going in the meets that way. And it just put them in the group. The doors, right. when they opened up the pool, I got them in real early. For the state meet? Yeah. It only seemed to work out. That's, that's it. Well, you know, I remember, I forgot who told me this. Who They had a brand new pool. They're going to nationals. And they're building our pool all season. And we were supposed to be in, you know, the two months before nationals, and they didn't get in. So all they had was a uh, five-lane, 20-yard pool, you know? <laughs> they were supposed to be in their beautiful new 50-meter, you know. And he said he spent two months uh, in that 25, uh, in that 20-yard pool, and all he was, was doing was dive 75s, dive 125s, you know. And right. he, he goes, he was sitting on the heater, just all sweating and, you know. And they went to nationals and everybody down the line, even the kids in the 1650, had amazing swims. And, you know, he bragged, you know, <laughs> you, know you know, that, you know, he made it happen. It it's just hard to put your finger on it. It just clicked. Wait, I truly believe that if you're consistent with a team, that's the whole thing. If you're consistent through the season, meet, you know, they were consistently going 2,500 before a meet, and you know, they just probably weren't loose enough. And the South Bend Riley meet, that's really interesting because um, it, maybe it got them up, too, you know, further because of the short. Yeah, I, they were pretty excited, but it was a great meet. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, those yeah, those those South Bend meets were too. I was thinking about a meet that you had against Skip Byrne the other day, and it was I was in East Chicago at the time, and me and Sue just got married, and we came over to watch you going against um, uh, Skip Byrne, 
you know, in Valpo. Right. And it came down to the 400 yard freestyle relay in right. that little room. And Skip took his four 400 freestyle relay kids down in that little room back there to the left behind the um, block. Right. He's standing there, and there's these four gigantic kids. And there's Skip, you know. And he looks at him and he goes, If you win it, we win. So that's what you got to do. Because I don't want to tell you what happens if you don't. Munster, Munster beat him. But it was not until the last 35 yards. So, yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that. I don't know if you remember they that. Good mates against them. Yeah, yeah.